Bruce, we got tagged, didn't we? Right then, I got tagged from Eric at Eccentric Nature. Uh, he does videos about herbs and teas and things like that. He's a right character. He, he's an actor, don't you know? American living in the south of the UK somewhere. Hi, Eric. He also did me a shout out the other on his last video as well. Cheers for that. Right then, so no, 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 no. You can't leap over that wall. So, tag questions. Here we come. Thirteen of which. What is your full name? My full name is Timothy Pattinson Green. P-A-T-T-I-N-S-O-N is the Pattinson. Quite a rare name, you know. Um, but you can all call me Tim. So there. Uh, you can call me Timothy if you want. Question number two. How many siblings do I have? I have three older brothers. Roughly two years apart. So, there you go. Four, three older brothers. Were you close to your cousins growing up? Yes, I was. Uh, I've got five cousins. Half Nigerian. My auntie, my dad's sister, married a Nigerian. So they used to spend some time in Nigeria and they had a house next door but one or two to us on our estate where I grew up so they would spend quite a lot of time there and then the cousin closest age to me is about a year or a bit more older than me Ooh. and another one uh, he's Bodhi and he's who I used to sort of be mates with Mainly, and I'd go down to London when I was in my teens because they had a flat in London as well. Or a couple of flats. My auntie had a flat on Baker Street, don't you know? And I used to go to a flat that my uncle, who lives in Nigeria, uh, Bell Size Park, I think it was. <laughs> so there you go, yes, I was close to my cousins. Do you have a special bond with your gra grandparents? I did do. I ain't got any grandparents left now. Um, yeah, quite close to my mum's mum and dad mainly. And my dad's mum were quite close, but we didn't tend to see her as often. And then my dad's stepdad was just a weirdo. He used to actually bring me grandma to our house and used to sit in the car on the drive. He wouldn't even come in. Weirdo. <clears throat> so there you go. <laughs> Did you enjoy high school? Yes and no, like a lot of people. Sort of used to hate having to go. Had, you know, not a bad time there as such. Didn't always love it, but yeah, you know, you have your good experiences, you meet your friends, all that business, and even learn a little bit. Um, next question. What are your hobbies? Walking Bruce all day, every day. Hobbies, beekeeping, but a bit less in the last couple of years. Bruce, <coughs> and laziness. Um, photography is a bit of a hobby. I used to have more, such as rock climbing. I was an avid rock climber, mountain biker, skiing, uh, stuff like that. Next question. It's windy, I can't read the flappy paper. What do you do to relieve stress? Well, walk the hound, watch crap on YouTube, smoke, smoke, 
Um, that's about it really. What is your favourite movie? Well, I'm not a big, big movie man. There's, it's hard one, isn't it? You've got to have a few. That's, that question should be name some of your favourite movies. So, oh, oh, Brother, Where Art Thou? Brilliant. Saving Private Ryan. Brilliant. Although Tom Hanks is a bit iffy in it these days, apparently, allegedly. Uh, <laughs> and the other Tom Hanks one, where he crashes in Desert Island, you know. Wilson! Uh, lock, stock and two smoking barrels, films like that, so. There you go. Original Star Wars. What is your favourite book? And again, I think that should be books. I'm not, again, not a big, big reader. When I was a teenager, I used to read a few Stephen Kings and other stuff like that. Horrors and... Um, then I didn't really read books as such for years. It was magazines or... Well, basically magazines, like science magazines a lot. Um, National Geographic, all that business. And then got a bit more into books... A few years ago, I think a really nice book is Beekeeping for Dummies. That's a really good book. Dalai Lama, um, Freedom in Exile. That's a really good book. Right then. Favourite thing to do on a stormy day? Chill out and watch crap on YouTube. Get stoned. <laughs> what do you do on a perfect day? Well, have good walks, hunting, um, see lots of good nature. That's always a good perfect day when we've seen a lot of nature or something that I haven't seen before or very rarely see. Like when I'm up Scotland and see otters or mink. Right then. Ch -ch -ch. Big city or small town? Uh, neither. Here. Thank you. I live at the top of this lane. But otherwise, yes, yeah, small town. What? What to do when all the... I've written when all the shite is over. What to do when all the lockdown's finished and stuff? Wait, Bruce! <laughs> Wait. Uh, well, it hadn't really made a difference to me. The lockdown. Only difference to my life is... Oh, he's just scared a bird off. Only difference to my life with the lockdown shite out of proportion, out of order crap, what? Is when I go shopping, it pisses me off more. Because you have to stand like an idiot in amongst people who are shitting themselves for no good reason. <coughs> in my and thousands of other uh, people's opinion. So that's that, and I've now got to tag people. So I'll have a think, I'll add that onto this long babble in a bit. So it could be you. In addition to hobbies, geology, fossils, rocks and minerals. I found that one. A fish tooth. Ichthyosaurus or something like that. That's a trilobite, a phacops. That's an echinoderm, like a sea urchin. That's another trilobite, really tiny, Elrathia kingii. There's another trilobite hiding under the stove. Is that a flexicalamine? No, metacanthina. Metacanthina. They're like sea urchins, and that's like really, really, really old bacterial growth. And I've got more. 
I sold a few and some are at my brother's. Hi Matt, here's a little channel shout out, out the van cave. Matt, he's a good guy and he sent me that badge. He's ex-police, retired, ill health, fighting cancer, he's ace, he does podcasts. Uh, yeah, some good interest in um, beer and babble. Right then, the names I am choosing. Uh, 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 who did I think of? Three Shot Rocky and Barbecue Pit Dog and Casual Carolina Fishing and, better get a lady in there, Cherry McKins... Uh, what McKinstry? McKinstry, I think she's called. McKinstry. So, three shot Rocky, barbecue pit dog, casual Carolina fishing, and Cherry McKinsey. Bye.